What's up guys, Wes here with Rocky Mountain ATV and I'm here with this 2005 CRF 450R and you're watching the Roach to Racing Bike Build. What's up guys, Wes here with Rocky Mountain and today I'm in our how-to studio. You can see I'm next to this freshly rebuilt and super sexy Banshee. We just barely finished this build, but now it's time for our next big thing and I've got a big surprise for you guys. It's actually on the other side of the door, so let's go figure out what it is. And here it is guys, a CRF 450R. Now, these things are awesome. The CRF 450R has been around since 2002, and since then they've built up a cult type following. You can get on Instagram and anything else to see hashtags like Big Red, or Twin Pipe Life, or Ride Red, anything like that. So since the 450 came out in 2002, it's underwent a ton of changes. As you guys know, the brand new bikes are coming with titanium tanks. They've got electric start now. Uh, all the goodies that you can think of, um, they've changed a ton since 2002. Our plans with this bike is to rebuild the bike from bottom to top. We're gonna go completely through this bike. And the thing we wanna do differently with this bike build is give you guys a behind the scenes, inside look at what it takes to completely rebuild one of these bikes. Let's look at some specifics with this bike. We actually picked this bike up for a thousand dollars. Right up front here, you can see it's got a pretty good shiner in the header there. Front tire's pretty flat, I don't know. The engine's leaking from about every crack and crevice that it could. So as you guys know, anybody that's shopped or bought or is looking for a used bike, there are definitely some things that you want to look for. That could use a little air. Whoa, that's lethal. Bars look a little bent. There are a few things that it's got going for it. It's got a lot of stock parts. I'm really surprised it's got the stock brake pedal on here. Stock muffler, stock foot pegs. We had to buy this bike. It was a no brainer, duh. Since they've been around since 2002, it's probably the most popular used bike ever made. There's a ton of these things out there and they're just good bikes. Check this out, brand new pillow tops, Honda Grip Donuts. With any bike this age, you're gonna have things that you gotta fix and change. Oh, I got a good one for you, dude. Check this out. Uh, you're not gonna find this on any new bike. This is what, some of the stories that you get from finding used bikes. This guy knew what was good. Rocky Mountain, All Balls, Boyson and Fly Racing. And Dunlop and Rockstar Energy Drink Fort Graphics, dude. Like any used bike, you can do your best to figure out what you're buying, but with this bike, we really don't know. Uh, fork seals are leaking up here. Let's check to see if this thing has any coolant in it. Clutch cover's pretty worn. The tires are mismatched front and rear. The guy said that it ran when we picked it up, but it clearly does not. There's some nice uh, weather cracking along there. Uh, it looks a little moist in there, but it's pretty low. This guy didn't even clean the bike to sell it. The guy said the last time he changed the oil in it, ball bearings came out. This thing's still got some life in it though, don't you think? A uh, good place to start from though, I think. Good platform. We'll get her fixed up. <laughs> Dude, let's do it. All right guys, so as you can see, this bike is pretty banged up and beat up and really roached out. So the next step for us is to start tearing into this thing. 
and figure out what it's gonna take to get it running again. Now, if you guys have seen our other bike builds, you know we love these things. They're a ton of fun for us. Um, bike builds like the YZ250, if you guys have seen that video, it's a really fun bike build and it gives you a little bit of an inside look, but it's not nearly as in depth as we wanna go with this bike. For you guys, this is episode one of, I don't know how many, because we don't know what we're gonna find inside this thing. And uh, yeah, we're excited to get into it. We're excited to have you guys along for the ride. So thanks for watching and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already to stay in the loop and up to date on what we're doing with this bike build. But the next time you see this bike, we're gonna be getting our hands dirty. It's this 2005 CRF, and that's not gonna work. Oh shoot, we just got locked out of the warehouse. I left my badge back at my desk and uh, we got locked out. But I wanna get this thing going, riding season's coming, so we gotta get going on this thing. We can't be wasting time.